everyone, my name is Joe Thatcher and I'm with Midwest Military Equipment out of Washington, Missouri. Behind me here is uh, Thomas from Texas's new truck. Uh, this is a 1998 Stuart & Stevenson M1079. Uh, this is an A0 truck, so it has a 3116 cat, the Allison MD3070P uh, automatic transmission, so it's a seven-speed Allison automatic transmission. Uh, this particular truck he bought from us as one of our finished units, and then we've added some accessories to it. Starting at the front of the truck, this has our MME front winch bumper, uh, along with a 25,000 pound synthetic line Sherpa winch. As you can see, the winch gets tucked right behind here. All of the original glad hands are still able to be used along the back side of the truck. This is where the winch controller plugs in here. We've added LED headlights per his request. Um, it comes, our bumper kits come with LED fog lights, which you can see right there. This truck has our upgraded cab airbag system. See the cab airbags right there on the side of the truck. Those are a replacement cab airbag system for the OEM bags. The OEM bags are prone to failure and parts are very expensive for them. So that's a nice little feature. This actually has our upgraded air dryer system, which this is a more civilianized air dryer that we install on these. Uh, it still has a 24 volt heating element. Um, and another important thing while we're over on this side of the truck is the battery disconnect switch. Uh, we've installed this battery disconnect switch on this truck. So if he's gonna be storing it for a long period of time, it does have a lockable feature. So you can put a lock in there to lock it either on or lock it off. And going to the rear of the vehicle, uh, this is a 1079. When it originally came to us, it did not have a boarding ladder. This is actually our boarding ladder that we build here. This is an all aluminum ladder, mimics the factory ladder. However, we do a dimple dyed step. Uh, this is all out of eighth inch aluminum. Turns out really nice. It's in a textured black powder coat finish. It has our two and a half inch receiver hitch on the rear of the vehicle as well. Uh, this still allows the factory pinnacle hitch to oscillate as it's normally intended. Going over here to the other side of the truck, over by the fuel tank, it has our MME locking fuel cap. So this is a locking fuel cap. Keep people, fuel prices doing what they're doing today. Uh, you're able to lock up your fuel, which is a very nice feature. Two simple keys come with the kit, be able to put it on. We've got a brand new tire strap on this truck. You can see the antenna there. We'll hop up in the cab here in a second. Um, this actually got our new AC system with the AM, FM, Bluetooth radio. So it's a full center council AC system. The radio is built into it. Um, you can see the winch controller sitting in the cup holders. We'll climb up in the cab and we'll talk about it a little bit. So as you can see, the rest of the interior is pretty much untouched, original to the vehicle itself. Um, this is our new AC unit. Um, so the heater box remains in the factory location. Um, this has got vents that rotate 360 degrees. So if you want to blow air towards the dash, air towards you, or turn all the air towards you, you're able to do so. Um, this is all on keyed power. So if I turn the ignition on here, it'll go ahead and power up the head unit and play sound out of it. Um, what's a nice feature about this is this is not only AM, FM, but it also has a Bluetooth setting. The speakers are marine type speakers, so is the head unit. So if you spill soda on this or want to spray water for some reason on it, you're good to go. This is the controller for the Sherpa winch. That does not come with the AC kit. Controls for the AC are very simple and right here. You've got higher and lower, and then you've got the fan system there. We also include this six gang switch panel, so it has one SIG port and then two USB ports. Also shows you what your voltage is, so that way you can see if your batteries are potentially low. Uh, these switches do illuminate whenever the ignition's on and they're wired up. Uh, Tom does not have any accessories in this truck right now, so the switches themselves um, obviously are not hooked up to anything, but we do run a pigtail over to the passenger side kick panel, so you're able to tap into any one of these. Uh, overall, fits really great. If you still want to put a middle seat in, it is a little bit tight, but works very well. This truck's also got our black vinyl seats, as you can see. They fit very nice in this truck, They're tight to this back box. If you're a taller guy, uh, you know, I'm six foot, five foot ten. Um, if you're a taller guy and you want to be able to scoot the seats back forward, you do, however, have to take these boxes out of these trucks. You can see the passenger side, we've removed the box. Passenger side seats scooted back quite a bit, so that way you can easily get in and out of it. But overall, very happy with this truck. He's actually taken delivery of it this morning. Uh, turned out really awesome. One thing I didn't touch on when we exit, it's got our new texture black door panels. Uh, and then it also has our new crank handles and our door opening handles on it as well. Um, 
this truck, he did, we did also install highway gears in this. So this truck was originally uh, governed at 58 miles an hour. Now you're going to be able to get about a 65 to 72 mile an hour top speed out of it. The biggest thing with the highway gears is it cuts down on your RPMs at cruising speed. So if you're going to spend a lot of time on the interstate, you know, doing 55 to 60 miles an hour, it's really nice to have those highway gears. Uh, it helps with the engine, helps with the transmission, helps with the rest of the drive crane components because you're not limited by uh, governing RPMs. So on downhill and stuff like that, you're able to hit that 70 mile an hour top speed, which is very nice. Or before a hill, you're able to hit that speed, push down on the accelerator, get moving forward, and be able to crest the hill a little bit quicker than you were only if you were able to hit it at like 50 to 55 miles an hour like the trucks are originally set at. Um, overall, you're going to be happier with this truck. It turned out really good. Um, if you want to check out more awesome products or any of the products on this video, all of them are listed on our website. Uh, we do sell vehicles. Uh, we've got quite a few of these 1079s still in stock. I think we've got about four or five of them left. So they're kind of a rare bird. We don't get too many of them through here. It seems like they kind of come in spurts. So if you're looking for a 1079, uh, now would probably be the time. So be sure to check us online at MidwestMilitaryEquipment.com and be sure to like and subscribe to this video. Thanks for watching.